channel, I like to talk about anything spiritual, all spiritual topics. Today, we are going to be talking about the power of energy and why is it important to know your energy, your own personal energy. So, alright, a good example would be, say that you just wake up and you're having a lovely day, like you're having like the best day ever, like you woke up, you know, just feeling absolutely amazing. And then you go and you go see one of your friends. And when you get to their house, basically they have like a whole bunch of stuff to tell you. Like a whole bunch of depressing stuff. Like, uh, you know, the usual, like, you know, they got cheated on or, you know, little stuff like that. I don't like, want to downplay anybody's situation, but we know how life works. Everybody has like down limits. So anyway. You are just having an amazing, wonderful day. So basically, they just put all of their baggage onto you. And once you leave them, you don't know why you're having a bad day now. Like, you're just not feeling good. You're just not in the mood you were before. Like, you just want to know why you're not feeling like that anymore. And it's because you had an energy exchange, basically. You sat with someone and you weren't aware of your energy you didn't know how to keep your energy up you didn't know how to stay in your high vibration so someone who was in a low vibration was able to come along and bring you down to their level and have, make you have a bad day just how they're having a bad day instead of your day being good how it was um another example that's just like a little broad example but another example a big one which affects us the most friendships relationships well, that was a different shit, but for relationships, <laughs> you know, uh, moms, you know, your parents, basically, your siblings, things like that, family, Oof. yeah, it's easier said than done, but they can definitely affect you more than a stranger, of course. So, someone that you love, someone you're intimate with, that is something that you really need to be aware of, because if you're not in the right relationship, if you're not with the right person, and they don't honor you, and they don't respect you, and... They are basic, and they don't honor and respect themselves. But basically, they're out and they're messing with other people, and they're just, they don't care who they're basically having sex with, is changing their energy with. You have to, when they come back and they have sex with you, basically you take on the energy of everybody that they just been with. So if they've been with people who are down, who are just basically depressed and, you know, have a lot of anxiety, things like that. Um, Maybe they're into a lot of gossip, they're into like a lot of just worrying about other people. They could be watching your page, stuff like that. They don't even know it. So you can just start picking up on that energy, not even know it subconscious, like in your subconscious basically. You'll pick up on that energy and basically you'll just start being depressed and moody and and having all types of mood swings and you think you'll think all that energy is yours and y'all identify with it but it's not it's of those other people you know that came into your energetic field but basically this is why it's important to know your energy because you can protect yourself from all that if you know yourself you and you have enough self-love to want to work on yourself and want to do better and want to flourish then you'll know how to set boundaries for yourself so other people cannot affect your energy um now, I just want to do a quick little video basically just to explain that because when people say the word energy, they, it's like they just stood around and they don't really understand what it means, like my energy, my energy. But I want people to really understand what that means. What does it really mean to protect your energy? Do you guys know specifically yourself? So basically... Um, you have to set boundaries. You just have to know what kind of person you want to be, what kind of emotions you want to identify with. If you don't want to be an angry person, you don't have to be an angry person. If you don't want to be upset, if you don't want to be depressed, you have to just make the conscious decision that you don't want to be that no more. And I promise you, everything that you want to be, you just have to also figure out what you want to be. You want to be free. You want to be happy. You want to be, you know, trapped in the mind of everybody else, basically, worried about what everybody else thinks. Then... You'll look like that. But basically, I just wanted to make this quick little video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on Instagram. All that good stuff will be at the end of the video.
Thank you guys so much and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.